Maybe not if I can't refuse. I'm not trying to insult you, but I'd offer you 40 on these two. Would you go 40 bucks? Yeah. Hey, good man. How you doing? Good. What do you got in your Funkos? Asking ten a piece for him. Okay. More than one, I can cut you some deals. Okay. On May the second, we have a uh, historic home to sell right across from the library in Brookville. That's on um, Thursday, May the second, six p.m. I got five on that. That's really office. nice. If you need them, that's cool. If you want to start up in front? We'll sell the miscellaneous right away, right in front of the office. So do you collect Funkos or? I mostly resell. Okay. Yeah. I'll do a five a piece on them. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going for, to be honest with you. I can look. Okay, it seems cheats. like the market's changed so much on Funkos these days. Yeah. Do you sell the keychains too? or? Um, I haven't sold any of the keychains, no. Okay. Yeah, you say you go five a piece on these? I would, yeah. I'll give you ten bucks. Okay. Do you sell stuffed animals too, or just there the Funkos? Go, Thank you. Um, A little bit. It's... The stuffed animals um, are, are a pretty tough move. Appreciate you working with me. Yeah, thank Good you. luck to you. Thanks. Morning. Hello. Is this all your stuff? No, not mine. Not yours? Is this you? What do you got in your uh? I'm, uh I know a couple brushes on this guy. Okay, what do you got on? What's he got on his bats? You know? Oh uh, yeah, I don't know about the bats. Okay. He just told me about this thing and a couple bags over here. Okay. He should be back. I don't know where the is. I'll swing back around. Yeah. Yeah. This your sale? Uh, yeah. What do you got on these two? Um, four bucks for both of them. Sold. There you go. Thanks, sir. Yep. How are we doing? Good. How are you doing? What do you got on your bow? Oh, uh, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not real sure. And uh, he is running around here with this black hat on, like it stands up real tall. Okay. So I'm sure you, you know, would recognize him, like you can't miss him. Okay. That hat on him. It's so terrible. Um, but he's the guy that owns the bow, and he was supposed to be right back, but I don't know where he is. <laughs> Oh, I'll keep an eye on. I'll be walking around. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll be here for, you know, if you want to just keep an eye. And he might be up here soon, I would think. But if you see that big hat, that's him. <laughs> All right, thanks. Sorry. No worries. I mean, I would sell it on him, but ugh. it'd probably, you know, I don't know. I'd mess up somehow. <laughs> it's all good. I don't get you in trouble. How much are your bats? Uh, 10, 20, probably in that range somewhere. How about your gloves? Uh, probably 10, 20 on this one.
What do you got on your wedge? Uh, that one, 25. 25. These two and these three, what the five pieces total, what would be the best you could do on that? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 70 for all of them. Make it 60, you got a deal. Appreciate you working with me. I'm sorry. I said appreciate you working with me. No problem. Good luck to you. Yeah, you too. You're the man with the bow. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Oof. Make me know if I can't refuse. <sighs> what about forty-five? Oh, I don't have any. You guys have a good one. I gotta have eighty to break you. Eighty. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah, I don't think I do eighty. I mean, I know what it's worth. I go 60, that'd be my max. Appreciate you. Just got here. You got 40 on you? Uh, yeah. Yep. Hey, give me up. Thank you much, sir. Thank you. Good luck to you. You too. That pipe display is pretty neat. It's nice. Never seen one of those. Where'd you get that? From a guy down around Louisville. London Air. There's some, they're not all. They're not all briars in there, but there's there's four or five briars, but every one of them good good pipes. Huh. Yeah, that is cool. This is an important one here. It says this cabinet is from the 1930s. Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah. Definitely not something you see every day. Okay. With the pipes and everything, you're asking 225. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll make you a deal. 160 bucks. And the pipes, some of them pipes in there is worth 50 bucks a piece. I wish I knew more about pipes. I haven't messed too much with them. Most of them clean them up. And I want to say clean them up. They they clean it where the slobbers are on and everything like that and clean them. Oh, yeah? And then they they, they sell them in the malls all the time. <laughs> Bertram. That's a Bertram handmade. And it's numbered. That's Burl Walnut. This is a briar root. Ported briar root, this one here with the brass on it. Does it go 100 bucks? The best I'd do, 140. I think I'll pass on it, but thank you, anyways. All right, that's okay. Have a good one. Yeah. What do you got on your van? Uh, 15 on that. 15 bucks? Yeah, I had 20 on I was gonna I tell myself to take it out, everybody. That's cool, for sure. Yeah. How about your cars? Those were 70. I do, um, they're nice. I don't have the key, but they're all the same. Um, I'll do 60s on them. They're actually the rare color on the uh, car. Those are, those are the real deal, too. Son had them in the nice. He had like a bunch of everything. He had a box. He got like pretty big money. He had pretty good money on them. Oh I yeah. Traded him out of them. I was gonna keep. I had them in my collection, but they just didn't really match my other stuff. I got a lot of slot cars and other models and diecasts. I'm trying to insult you, but I'd offer you 40 on these two. Would you go 40 bucks? Nah, nah, can't keep them. I was gonna tell you I do. Um, so, on them, I really, best I do is 50 and 10, 60. 
I mean, that's, I'm, I'm a collector. I buy stuff as I go. Yeah. I don't really hear the low up. I'll pass. I appreciate it, though. Yep. Good luck uh, to you. All right, man. Thank you. Back at the house, I didn't find a ton of stuff at the flea market, but I'm really happy with what I did find. I got um, these itchy and scratchy Funko Pops. They are loose out of box. I paid 10 for the pair, and I saw the same pair uh, selling loose for right around 20 so I think there's a little bit of profit to be made on those. I got this uh, Tarzan Blu-ray for the kids and this uh, sound machine to put in the kids' room. I did a bundle deal with like some bats and the uh, golf club and the glove and i'm really happy i did i paid i think 65 for everything uh this bat is going for 50 this one is going like for 40 or 50 and this one's going for about 40 this ping isi lob wedge is going for right around 35 to 40 and this adidas glove i should get probably 15 dollars for maybe 20 bucks i want to give you guys a heads up when you're looking at bats the way to look them up is by the model number, and it is not super easy to find. On the older bats, it's a little bit easier. A lot of times it'll even say MDL for model. So like this one is BT5-Z. Uh, this one right here is right here, BB15MKT. And this one is by far the hardest. Marini makes it impossible to find the models. So you might not even be able to see it in the video, but it is underneath this minus three. It's a VDC V14. It's really, really tiny. Dean Marini bats are notorious for putting the models in weird spots and making them really, really small. But when you're out and about at garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, wherever, and you see a bat and you want to know the value, don't look up, you know, Dean Marini Voodoo Overlord or don't look up Easton Mako Torque. You want to find the specific model of what it is that you're looking up, and that'll give you the true value. Last but not least, I got this compound bow. This is the Bear Outbreak. I got it for 60 bucks and it is selling for 130. You guys saw the uh, pipe buy that I almost made. He had this really cool vintage pipe display with a bunch of pipes and he took them out for me and I was looking at them. I've sold a handful of pipes over the years, not a ton. So I know a little bit about them and the condition on those just looked really, really poor. Conditions, everything with old stuff. So I don't know that I would have gotten more than 15, 10, maybe 20 bucks for selling some of the pipes individually. I offered 100 because I thought I could flip the case and all the pipes just in like one shot and maybe get 200 bucks for it on eBay or locally or something. Uh, but 140 was as low as he wanted to go and I wasn't willing to pay it. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.